Beautiful day, a little bit cool. Only about 10C or 50F. But it's nice. Just need a light little long sleeve. Still in shorts, obviously. We're in the A6 Nimbus 22s. And just out to get a little bit of easy running in. Um, today makes, I think today is day 34 of the run streak. And obviously I stopped the daily vlogging at the end of October with Halloween. But yeah. Just like to make the occasional video. Figured I would share a little bit of today's run and just kind of chat a little bit. So, last couple days or so, still obviously getting out for a run, which is enjoyable. Um, doing some, did a little bit more sourcing. You know, thrifting for reselling. Not a whole lot. No crazy big deals or large sales in the last few days, but I did put a promotion on in my store and kind of clear out some of the older stuff or stuff that I just realized I'm probably not going to get what I thought I would. <clears throat> so just clearing it out and you know, if some just means I just break even on it and get my money back, that's fine. I'd rather just have my money back and no profit than sit on those things for another six months or so. So I did sell a uh, pair of shorts to a guy who actually just bought two hats from me last week. So that's cool. Nice to have repeat buyers. But the funny thing is, the, uh, the saga with eBay, now that I've upgraded to a store, the issues continue. It appears that I'm getting the proper fee structure now, you know, so they're not overcharging me when things sell. But, if you're familiar with eBay stores, you can, you know, create like a store page that you can feature certain items, feature certain categories. Uh, it'll automatically populate things like newly listed. And yeah, it's just, it's kind of neat. Right? It's like just a nice place where people can go and then they can browse through all of your listings, either through the eBay categories or through your own store categories that you've made up. Definitely easier to funnel traffic in a more meaningful way and generate sales. But <laughs> I had previously had a banner, you know, a big photo of like my video game setup, just a big banner, and it was highlighting the category of video games and consoles and just trying to direct people there to get some of those big sales done and that worked perfectly but then when I created my promotion yesterday you know for the discounts adding items in for various sale amounts and percentages off the promotion itself worked right away no problem all of those items were, in fact, discounted the way they should have been, took place immediately, no problem at all. But when I changed the banner on my storefront to a promotion banner to link directly to that sale and to those items, that link is just broken. It, uh, if I click on it, 
on mobile. It just goes to a page that tells me I have no items for sale. And obviously that's not true. There's like 70 items in that sale. And if you click on it through the web page, it uh, gives you an error. It says, hey, we encountered an error, but don't you worry. We're working on it. Uh huh. And if you get really adventurous and you actually copy the website link, copy the URL, and paste it in a browser, nothing happens. It is a dead link. So it just doesn't take you to that store promotion, to the store, or even to eBay. It does nothing. So, after about 30 minutes of explaining and re-explaining, and then re-re-explaining the issue, and answering the same questions seven or eight times in a row, I finally was able to convince this person on eBay that the issue was not with the promotion itself, because that worked. <laughs> and in fact, I'd even made a sale while chatting with their rep, and one of, and that item was an item that was properly discounted, 25% off or something, or 33% off, whatever it was. So that wasn't the issue. The issue was technical in nature with just the promotion banner itself not functioning. But trying to explain that to somebody through a chat who obviously has no idea what the hell you're talking about. And of course they can't see it on their end because the link is broken. So they can't see the error or issue that I'm seeing. Then they've got to troubleshoot and ask me all the stupid questions like, oh, are you sure you didn't change your categories after you promoted them? No, nope, no, nope. you're just not listening. Let me repeat myself for the 50th time. Anyway, so it's still not working. It's been apparently escalated off to their IT team, just like every other issue I've had in the last month since upgrading to a store, and I guess we'll just wait and see if it works. Well, there we go. I killed a few minutes. <sighs> In a beautiful location here. This is like this little kind of dip in the trail where this brook comes out from up by the road and meets out to the basin here and yeah on lower tide this is what this looks like and at high tide the water is up almost right here just amazing but this is my turnaround point for today as well just running at lunch so i don't have a ton of time but that was good that helped take my mind off the first 10 minutes of the run which always kind of sucks a little bit and, you know, I'm feeling warmed up, feeling good. So, thanks for listening to my eBay reselling rant. One of many I've had on this channel in the last couple of weeks, it seems. Hey, I mean, if anything else, they're making for, for content. They're making for video ideas or rant ideas. So, thank you, eBay, I guess. But no, it would be nice if they got their shit together, but I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Uh, still still doing all right with it. Still enjoying this run today. And it's a little cooler, like I say, but still enjoyable. So I'm going to get back at it, head back to the house where I've got some soup waiting for me. And uh, yeah, get fueled back up. <laughs>